guys welcome back to my channel today I'm bringing you guys with my everyday makeup routine this is the makeup I do when I want to go eat or just anywhere this is just my everyday glam and I hope you guys enjoy it stay tuned if you guys want to know how I achieved this look and just keep watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe so I'm going to be going in with my Clinique Moisturizing Cream. I'm going to be applying that all over my face and just blending it all over my face slowly with my fingers. Then I'm going to take my Prep and Hydrate Primer from Lancome and I'm going to be applying that all over my face as well. Just making sure I cover all my face. So now I'm going to be grabbing my 25A Morphe palette. I'm going to be grabbing that brown dark shade right there. And I'm just going to fill in my brows just a little bit. I want them to look as natural as possible. First, I brush them down and then I fill in. Now I'm going to be grabbing my 16 hour camel concealer from e.l.f. in the shade for a warm just to curve out the bottom part of my brows. So now to curve out the top part of my brows, I'm going to be going in with the Overachiever concealer from Huda Beauty in the shade Nugget and I'm going to be doing this with a flat brush as well. So now I'm going to be grabbing in the same concealer I used to carve out the top part of my brows and I'm just going to put it all over my eyelids and I'm going to blend with my damp beauty blender. So now for foundation I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty foundation in the shade Custard and I'm going to be applying that all over my face and blending it with my damp beauty blender. So now to brighten up the features of my face, I'm going to be taking that same Huda Beauty Concealer and applying it under my eyes, on my chin, on my nose, and on my forehead. I'm going to be blending this with my Beauty Blender. So for bronzer, I'm going to be going in with my powder bronzer from Anastasia in the shade Tell Me and I'm going to be just blending all the way from the top of my cheekbones to the bottom. So now I'm going to be grabbing this brush right here and my Femi powder in the shade Fair and I'm going to be applying that everywhere I put concealer just to set everything in place. I'm gonna grab that same brush and my translucent powder and I'm gonna be baking just to give it that effect of my face looking slimmer. And now that a little bit of minutes pass, I'm just gonna be removing all the excess powder off. So what I like to do when I apply a little bit too much bronzer or blush, I like to grab the same excess powder and that same powder brush and just blend so it won't look too harsh. So 
So for blush, I'm using the Kylie Press Blush Powder in the shade We're Going Shopping and I was struggling a little bit right there to open it but I finally got it and I'm just going to be applying that on the apples of my cheeks. So now I'm going to be contouring my nose with my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula and I'm going to be blending besides my nose and I'm going to be doing a little circular motion in the front of my nose to give it that button effect. What I like to do after I'm done contouring my nose, I like to grab my powder brush and just go over my nose with it just so my contouring doesn't look too rough and it looks natural. So every time I apply my highlight, I grab my continuous setting mist and my fan brush and I spray a little bit just so my highlight could be more intense. And for highlight, I use my James Charles Unleash Your Inner Artist palette. It has this like white glittery shade and I love using that one for my highlight and I love applying it on my on the top of my cheekbones, on my nose, on my top of my brow bone, on my top on the top of my lips and on my chin. I just love 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 highlight. I love Applying it and you can never have enough highlight. So now I'm going to be grabbing my butter bronzer and my deluxe crease brush from Real Technique and I'm going to be blending in fan motions just to give my eyelids a little bit of color. I'm going to be grabbing this little eyeshadow brush and my Morphe 258 palette and I'm going to be grabbing a little golden shade with glitter and I'm just going to be applying that on the top of my eyelids. So I'm going to be grabbing my eyelash curler and just curling my eyelashes. So for mascara, I'm using the Italia Waterproof 5X Super Epic Lash Mascara. I'm going to be applying that on the top, my top lashes and my bottom lashes as well. So now I'm going to be going in with my butter bronzer and this little brush for my under eyes and I'm just going to connect it with the eyeshadow on, me, on my eyelids. So like I said, you can never have enough highlights, so I'm going to be adding highlight to the inner corner of my eyes with the James Charles palette and on my brow bone so now to set my face I'm going to be applying my Morphe Continuing Setting Mist all over my face so for lipstick I'm going to be going in with a bright red from Morphe and it's a matte lipstick Now that my mascara has dried, I like to grab my eyelash curler once again and curl them one last time just so they can look longer and last longer curled.
Okay guys, that was all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my little makeup routine of my everyday glam. This is nothing hard. Anybody can achieve this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys want to see more tutorials and what type of looks you guys would like to see. And I will gladly film them for you guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video. Bye!